Okay guys, next step on the throttle body injection exhaust port to figure out exhaust throat ratios. Now, I did lightly clean the entire port. It's, it's, it's all ported. It's had a narrowed guide boss, but I didn't do my usual nuttiness because I don't need to. Okay. Now, it's kind of interesting as far as the throat. I left it as tight as I could in order to give it a, some type of a short side. And uh, doing that, it's, it's actually quite a lot bigger top to bottom. It is 1.34 inches. And as far as its tightest point side to side, it is 1.24 inches. So what I'll do for the next flow is I will open that whole throat up and make it more even. But we'll take a quick look at uh, what it looks like the way it is and uh, what kind of difference it made on the flows. Okay, it's all burr. It's all gone over with that old worn out burr. Wow. Focus is atrocious. The short side is not polished, it's all burr. Okay, this does not have a developed short side, it's just... Notice how far off the seat it comes, okay? So it's relatively small. And it's relatively straight. But we'll take a look and see how that works for now. Okay, so if I take 1.24 and 1.34, you average them, you get an 80.6% throat. Okay, you would think a fully ported port would work better than just cutting up that, putting a radius on that sharp edge on that throat, radius and in to that lower uh, cut, and then this is all cleaned up. Not considered a full development, but cleaned up. So what we do? Minus, minus, minus equals plus, 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 plus. You know, 171 at 600, not bad. Not great, but not bad. It is a boring, small, lightweight head Chevy exhaust port. Now, if, could we make the numbers a little more confusing? This, these numbers go to this flow, these numbers go to this flow, and these numbers go to the last flow. Let's do some pluses and minuses. Okay, so we're comparing this row to this row. Up, up, up. Looks good. This row to this row. Up, up, up. Not bad. Still much lower in the middle than I'd like, but getting there this row to this row. All right, we went down one in this side, went up, went up. Overall, our numbers through the whole thing are way better at 600 lift. Okay, so we're in the right direction, but we still have way too tight a throat. So, next flow, I don't know if I'm going to do it today, it's really hot today already in here, and uh, I'll see what I can do. In any case, we're going to cut it bigger. You know what we're going to do? We're going to make the throat bigger until we get a loss. How does that sound? That might be quite a few cuts, but we're going to, uh, we're going to do a little experimenting on this. And we'll see what we can learn. Maybe there's something to be learned with these throat ratio things. The only way I can learn is the hard way. You know, there's all these people that just like, oh, cut it for 90. I don't think that's the magic number. You know, 90 is a good mix between street performance and racing, I think. All right. Racer guys are more like 91, 92. They need to dump that pressure as soon as possible. Okay. Because of the high RPM, you have less time to get rid of the exhaust. Okay, that is not necessarily going to work on a street engine, as far as I'm concerned. Street engine, you'd rather have a smaller port that pulls a good vacuum 
during your overlap to pull in your fresh charge. You guys can correct me if I got any of that wrong. All right, guys. I'm going to do a little more grinding. Thanks for hanging out. Have a good night.